I want to talk about Exaro, and the minister said her say, when we did not renew the Arnott contract in December 31st, 2015, Exaro issued a statement and said, but Eskom, it's your mine. The Exaro mine belongs to you. It does not belong to Eskom. You've paid for it. And if you, we think, and that's what they say, you th we think we, have a, we are entitled that you, require, you, you continue with your contract. But we say not at 1,350. We won't do it. And they say, fine, it's your mine. Take it over. Take your mine. You carry the closer cost, and you carry the rehabilitation cost. It's your mind. I've got our legal advisor, I don't see her, and says, go and look at what they say. She came back to me and said, you know what? Exaro is right. We own these assets, and we are liable for the closure cost. And then Dr. Ben and the board supported us that we do the right thing, honor the contract. We went into, we were in dispute on one thing. They are saying pay the closure cost upfront. And we're saying we will not pay the closure cost upfront. We will do as the contract says. We will pay your cost as you incur the closure cost. We are on a protection with Exaro. But we also have another cost plus mine with Exaro at Matla. The board of ESCOM decided in November to prepay them 1.8 billion rands to sink a shaft on the contract that ends in 2023. So the board of ESCOM minister will come to you on a section 54 application to you and say, the board of ESCOM led by Dr. Ben Ngubani have agreed that we give Exaro 1.8 billion rents so that they can sink a shaft and supply us with, and it would take two years for them to sink a shaft, and the contract expires in 2023. And we think it's the right thing to do. That decision is made. Now, when there's another part to it, part of the reason Midupi is built to where it was built was because we wanted to support Exaro as a black mining company. Because we wanted a black mining company that is in competition with such South 32 and Anglo-American. And we built Midupi there, and we gave them a 40-year contract with their eyes wide open. To read on the newspapers that they will be reducing their shareholder from 50% to 30%. 30%. After what we've done to support them is a slap in the face. It's a slap in the face. After all, we own part of their assets. They belong to us. We've paid for them. And if anybody decides to give you 1.8 billion rents upfront, surely he's entitled to be consulted. And who knows? If we, if we were consulted and we understood, we might as well have said to them, we understand you've got uh, legacy uh, uh, arrangements, do that, but in the future, let's do this. We have a sunrise clause, not the sunset clause. I think it's wrong. I think ESCOM has been taken for a ride. I think going forward, we will be assertive. We will demand our, mine, our assets in the mines. They will come to ESCOM. And let me give you another proposal. We, well, let me tell you what we're doing with Axaro. So we, I went to Axaro, and I said, Axaro, I have an Arnott mine that I did not know I own. Now I know I'm, I'm owning it. It's closed. Let's have a discussion around this mine. How do we, in a clean way, dispose it off? And minister, this is where you directed us, that we must do something radically different. So we're going to take this asset with, with Exaro, and we're going to give it to the trustees of the old employees. And then we're going to take the mining company in a joint venture. 
and then we're going to give them a long-term contract. We will not get involved who set up the trustee. They were the employees of Exaro. They must set the trust up. Once they've set it up, we put them in a joint venture with a mining company. It's a joint V, it's a, it's a JV. We think doing that is something radically different. And I think when people look back, they will look at this leadership, that for once, this leadership has done what is radically different. It has used the leverage of ESCOM and the asset that ESCOM owns and has pushed for the structure in the coal mining industry that has brought back the employees of the mines. Some of them are now sitting at home because they've been retrenched. <laughs>